morning, boys and girls. My name's Chloe, and as you can see, Mrs. Renner is not here right now, and she's actually right here with me if, if she wants to say hi. Hi, boys and girls. This is Chloe, my daughter. She's going to do an art activity with you, painting some rocks, so I'm going to let her teach you how. Have a great day. Bye-bye. So today we're going to be painting a rock and I have some rocks I would like to show you that are kind of involved with Easter and some bunnies and some little chicks and flowers and like spring colors. So the first one I want to show you that I painted is this one. It's a bunny and as you can see there's like a butterfly there and here's a bunny in the grass. So isn't that so cute? I love it. And then my brother actually painted this one. It's a bunch of flowers and he made it for my mom when it was Easter time. And then I painted this one. It's a little chick and it's so adorable. All you have to do, you can take a marker if you don't want to paint that. You can take a marker and just make this line right here and then just color yellow up here and then white down there and then just make two eyes and a little nose. It's like an upside down triangle. So, and then over here my friend made me this one. It's a bunny and it's so adorable. It's like a perfect rock for it. And then an example for what we're gonna be doing today is this rock. Basically what you're going to be doing, you're going to be doing, you're gonna take a brush here. So. We have a bunch of paints, so you're going to need an adult supervision. And you need to put a placemat down to do this so you don't ruin your table. So I have a bunch of paints over here, and you're going to need some paint brushes and a cup of water because then you can wipe off your paint brushes. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to need some white paint, and you're going to... Um, take a plate and put the white paint on it. So I have my white paint here and I'm just gonna paint this rock here just like this. I'm just gonna paint it just like this. And then I'm gonna need more because it's not totally on it. So you're just gonna paint the background white. You can paint the background any color you want, but I like doing white because the colors pop out and it's really pretty. So this is going to be a fun activity and you can do whatever colors you want. Today I'm going to be doing um, pink, blue, and purple as well as um, I think yellow. Yeah. So I love those colors. They're like my top favorite colors. So I'm going to be using those. You can use as many colors as you want. It doesn't really matter what colors you use. So. Um, you're just going to take a straw, and these are the colors I'm going to be using. So there are these three colors right here, and then I also have some yellow over here, which is really pretty. And I'm just going to open these up. They're kind of hard to open, but it's okay. I actually have different types of blues and purples that I'm going to be using that I have on my paper I mean, my paint palette, it looks like this. And you can, if you have one of these, that's totally fine. You can put your paint in there and then put your paint in the little circles. Or you can just use a plate. So what you're going to be doing first, I'm going to use my blue first. I'm just going to dip it in the blue. And I'm going to take it and then I dipped it in the blue. And then I'm just going to put it on my rock just like this. And it doesn't matter if the circles aren't perfect, that's totally okay. Because at the end, it's going to look so pretty with all the little lines and circles. So, we're just going to dab all the blue on. If you need more paint, just take the paint and put it on. Just like that. It's really nice. So now, after you're done with the straw, you're going to just wipe it on a paper towel or something. And then you can use the other side if you want. Now I'm going to be doing purple. I'm just going to put the purple like that and then just dab it on this rock. And it's okay. Like I said, it doesn't have to make perfect circles. It's just making 
some circles that look good and a cute activity for when you're home and for Easter. So that's my purple and blue together and then I'm going to wipe off the purple at the end of my straw so we don't waste the straws and then I'm going to do my yellow next which is cute. Um, so we're doing yellow right now and it's okay if the paint's not dry and you're just going to put the yellow on here and if you don't have the straw you can just paint the circles if you want or you can um, take a marker or something and just draw the circles on that's fine it'll look the same so that's my yellow and now I'm going to put my pink on I'm just going to wipe the straw and put the pink on. So basically, let me show you what I've been doing. So you're just going to take it and then you put the straw on the paint and it'll come out just like that. And then, yeah. And then, then you're just going to paint it on just like that. It's a really fun activity to do at home when you're bored. And you're just going to paint it on like that. And then I'm going to do a couple more. And then after we're done with this, we're going to write something on the back of it to remember when we painted this rock. So, you can do this while I am telling you how to do this. So, I'm just going to dip it in the paint one more time, and then I'm just going to put the pink on. I love this color of pink. So, yeah. Now it's time to write on the back of this. So, this is what it turned out like. And on the back of this, we're going to write something. So you're going to take any marker. Um, I'm going to take this marker and I'm going to write on the back of it my name because why not? So you're going to write your name, which mine is C-L-O-E-Y. And then I'm going to write the date. And today's date is April 3rd, March. It's it's not March, it's April 3rd, 2020. So I'm gonna write four, cause April is January, February, March, April, and that's a four. So we're gonna write four dash, and today's the third of April, yesterday was the second, so it's the third, so we're gonna write a three. And then we're gonna do another dash, and then we're gonna write 20, cause it's 2020. So, I have it like that and if you want to write it that's totally fine or you can have a parent write it it's hard to write so that's my name up there and then 4-3-20 so if you want a parent parent can write it or a grandparent or whoever is watching you a babysitter um so you can have a parent write it anybody so that's how you do it so i hope you like this video i can make another one and that's totally fine so yeah, I'll probably make another video, so I'll see you guys next time.